Magalon, home to a civilization of millions. 166 years have passed since the comet hit, turning everything to ashes. A new era has begun. The war between the free people and the Albs is over. The hybrid lost control of its armies and ceased to function. The Albs became understanding and peaceful. The Elix was released and once again spread across the entire hemisphere below the Albs Ice Palace. But humans are quick to forget. Many of the larger settlements claimed the victory as their own and paid little interest to the affairs of others. Only a few remember those dark times, or one Commander Jax. My name and my deeds faded away in the mists of myth and legend. Many years after the war with the Albs, humankind is plagued by petty conflicts and territorial disputes. Even though there's still the persistent uneasiness about the strange celestial phenomenon that was called forth by the hybrid before its defeat, I know that an unknown foe will come soon. The lives of all the aware will be shaken to their very core. All my efforts to prepare humanity for this impending danger were for naught. Humans forget. A vague, unknown threat looming in the sky quickly became nothing but a small, daily nuisance to most. Until now. Better get out of here before these things make short work of me.
Let's get the hell out of here. Even more of those beasts, of course. Hmm. I should probably try to sneak by them. Take it slowly. You haven't recovered from that bite yet. It'll be a while before you get all your strength back. So perhaps you should put off anything too demanding for a few days. Who are you? You can call me Adam. Just think of me as a friend who is in the right place at the right time. That's all you need to know. Where's my stuff? If you're talking about the belongings you had in that hut, you can forget about them. All I could save is what you have on you. Ugh, what happened? You should know. You were there. The invaders arrived, started taking over the world, transforming it. Transforming? Terraforming, right? That's an alien species? Hmm. A most hostile, most dangerous species. So they're not just in Caracas. Their formers have appeared in every region, threatening life everywhere. It's not clear what they want yet. All they're doing for now is spreading infection, killing and destroying. Not a promising start. Something's not right, I feel... I feel weak. Mm, yes, you were bitten by one of those creatures. Looks like it infected you. Some kind of... disease. What? A disease? 
I'm still not sure how it works, but it's clearly all part of the invaders' plan. At the rate they're transforming things, it won't be long before the whole of Magalan is overrun with their plants and animals. Oh, great. You were lucky. It could have been a lot worse. If I were you, I'd stay out of their way and not tempt fate. All other instances of direct contact so far have proved fatal. How long have I been out? A few days. You're still badly hurt. I did what I could with your wounds. Days? No. Dex! Come on, I'll meet you there! Be careful! <clears throat> Dex! Damn it! My son's out there somewhere. I have to find him. Then I'd say you'd better do that before anything else. Why are you helping me? These invaders are a threat to us all, and yet no one even seems to have noticed they're here. Everyone's so busy fighting each other, they can't see who the real enemy is. That's where you come in. You might be an outsider to them right now, Jax, but you're strong, smart, capable. You know who I am? I know you did your best to disappear, but not everyone's forgotten you. I need your help to save Magalan, to lead a resistance group. I call it the Sixth Power, a faction separate from all the others, focused on stopping this invasion. I'll show it to you. Meet me in the Bastion, north of here. No way. I tried to warn people years ago. No one listened. Now we've got the total annihilation of the planet staring us in the face, and still, all anyone cares about is their own stupid shit. I'm done caring about it. I have my own problems. All right. Then deal with your own problems first. We can talk again later. The World Heart to the North. Is it still there? As far as I know, yes. The Berserkers are watching over it. Why do you ask? My son's with them. Then you should go. While things are still quiet around here, it won't stay that way for long. You know where to find me. You know, you'd get around a lot faster with a jetpack. I have one left. Take it. Like I said, go to the Bastion when you're ready. We have a lot of work to do. I'll be waiting there. Damn it. I'm really not doing all that great. But I don't trust the old man's judgment. I should look for a healer among the berserkers.
Jax, so glad you're alive. We feared the worst. What happened here? It caught us completely off guard. During the night watch, they blindsided us. The strange intruders? No, no. The Morcons. See here? They're fallen bloodhounds. The biggest group of them is already moving back up north. Where's Dex? Where's my son? His mother took him with her. Kyle was here? With him? Yes. And she followed the Morcons north. You know she'll never rest until she's defeated them all. It's strange that the Morcons dared to go so far. Yes. Very strange indeed. They usually keep their destructive urges inside their grotto. Something must have roused them. Probably those intruders and their bizarre creatures. Uh, maybe. But I believe they have other motives. They're religious fanatics who worship a violent god. Who can guess what motivates such people? Hmm? Can you heal me? Of course. I can give you a few flasks, but we need the rest for our wounded. Ugh. You look like shit, Jax. Ugh, I'm... I'm all right. Just got bitten by one of those damn creatures. Shit. Better get that looked at. Obviously. Hmm. Those large purple formers. Ever see them before? Oh, when the outsiders arrived, they spread out down south. We saw a lot of their creatures when we were out hunting. Couldn't always deal with them, though. Had this whole battle of the factions to deal with. Do you have a healer who can look at my bite? The infection? The most are dead. But Kaya survived. She's the best mage of all of us. Show her your injuries. Why'd you stay here? I am a warlord of the Berserkers. I have responsibilities. I can't just leave the world heart defenseless after an attack like this. Men trust in my leadership. The world heart is still intact? <sighs> Thank the stars. The Morcons were only out to kill Berserkers and take our horde of Alexit. The World Heart is unscathed. It continues to deliver mana to the Earth. Nature will soon flourish here in Caracas. But when you meet Kaya, be patient with her. She's taken the losses over the last few days quite hard. She fought the Morcons to the very end. Tried to prevent the worst.
I want to see Kaya. Let him through. Hi. Finally, the mysterious stranger honors us with his presence. Sorry, I got held up. Oh, well, how can I complain when faced with such a valid reason? All right, I get it, you're angry, but I've spent a few days out cold in some ruins. Is that so? And how did that happen? Maybe you haven't realized, but we have a new enemy. Yeah, I noticed. As if I didn't have enough problems. As you can see, my hands are pretty much full. You're going to take our son on one of your expeditions? He's better off staying with us right now. There have been far too many attacks on the fort lately. He's not safe there anymore. Oh yeah, much safer out here. I don't need a lecture from you. Mister, I like to disappear into my hut when things get difficult. Actually, the hut is gone. Buried under one of those flying fortresses. I'm happy to hear it. I never understood why you chose to hide in there instead of living with us. I have my reasons. You know what they were. Don't make me laugh. You felt wounded because the faction leaders wouldn't listen to your warnings of the potential dangers. And instead of accepting that failure and moving on, you curled up into a ball and wasted years of your life. You were a great man once, Jax. Think of all you did. Fighting your own people, storming the Ice Palace, defeating the hybrid. Not everyone remembers it that way. I was there, and that is exactly what happened. No matter what people remember, or choose to remember. Well, those potential dangers, as you call them, are right in front of us now. We both saw this coming. Now it's up to us to fight for everyone's survival. I know, just as it ever was. People are too preoccupied with their own lives to worry about the future of humanity. But that doesn't mean you should ignore your own life. If only you had been a real father to Dex, none of this would have happened. Do you think I should have left him on the battlefield at the World Heart then? No, of course not. Anyway, Asker will take good care of him. He would never leave him behind. Unlike you. Where's Dex now? He's nearby. Asker is teaching him a lesson in patience. You would think he would have learned that from us. Oh, very funny. What? Don't you think I know I could have done better too? That this wasteland is no place for him? If you have any better suggestions, let me know. But don't look at me like that. Don't you dare judge me. We need to talk about this new enemy. We're gonna have a lot to deal with. I know. That's one reason I'm out here. Because of that and all the other threats to our lands. I always expected something like this. Just not this soon. Could it be the aware that the hybrid spoke of? It's more than that. I think he might have even called them here somehow. One of the last things the hybrid did was to fire a signal into the sky. It caused a strange celestial phenomenon no one's been able to explain. That isn't a comforting thought. People need to prepare for what's coming. But damn it, I just don't have the time right now. 
I can't leave until I solve this situation with the Morcons. Dex needs to be somewhere safe. Really? Then why don't you do something about it? It's about time you took care of your own son. I just hope you know what you're doing. I've been speaking to this old man, Adam. He's been treating my wounds. He said the Bastion in the North should expand, become a major power. Sounds like that would be a safe place. What are you talking about? Adam? An old man? For goodness sakes, Jax, what have they done to you? Are your senses so impaired that you can't see what's in front of you? What's that supposed to mean? There is only one old man in the Bastion who fits your description. And that is Dawkins. Dr. Adam Charles Dawkins. I was talking to Dawkins? I don't believe it. How badly did they hurt you, Jax, for you not to recognize him? This is the man who set the Albs against the free people, who plunged Magalon into years of war, all for the hybrid. The miserable bastard who, let's not forget, was inside a mechanical pod until recently. Of course, he's but a shadow of what he was. It almost sounds like you would have forgiven all his crimes against humanity. The killing machine from back then has been destroyed. The shattered husk that survived barely has the strength to tell you what he knows. Dawkins is just an old man now. Without his machine, I don't think he's anything to worry about, to be honest. Oh, that explains a few things. I should pay him another visit. Yeah, why don't you do that? After all, he only stole a whole year of your life. No, something's wrong. I need your help. You look exhausted. What happened? One of those creatures, one of the invaders, it bit me. The old man says I'm infected, but he didn't know what with. Well, I can probably mix you something once I'm back home in Tavar. But we're in the middle of a battle with the Morcons. So I'm afraid you'll just have to hang in there for the moment. I don't recognize you anymore. You're obsessed with the fight against the Morcons. Did you see what they did at the World Heart? It was a massacre. They practically wiped out all our warriors. We have to strike back before they can reach the grotto. Once they disappear inside, we'll be dealing with more than just their bloodhounds. They'll unleash their destroyers, and who knows what else on us. I'll take care of your Morcon problem. And how are you gonna do that? You're sick. I'm going to need your help against these invaders. It's pointless for you to waste your energy on trivial skirmishes. A couple of Morcon bloodhounds won't be able to stop me. Very well. I'll gather my men and prepare for a retreat. But be careful. Those animals will do anything to get their hands on Alexit. I'll kill you if anything happens to him. Ugh. My head. Looks like I still have a long, painful road ahead.
Jax, glad you're here. Kaya and the little one were worried. How's my son? Doing pretty well, considering recent events. But it's, it's too much for a boy his age. He shouldn't even be here. Well, his mother wanted him with her. Ah, these last few days have been something else. Turbulent times we live in. Kaya left you in charge of our child? She did, and I consider it an honor. I know you're both busy. And I see no signs of that changing anytime soon. I'm taking the boy to the Bastion. Kaya and I think it's the best thing for him, given the circumstances. Won't hear me complaining. Means you're responsible for the boy from here on out. The Bastion is in the north, right? The ruins where that Dawkins fella lives? Mm. Seems like everybody but me knows who the old man is and what he's up to. Well, you've clearly been out of town for quite some time. Clearly. I'll head out to the Bastion right away then. Gotta get the place ready. I'll see you there. Watch yourself out there. Is it true the Morcons are bad people, Father? Where did you hear that? Mother says they invaded our camp at the World Heart and killed lots of us. It was really horrible. Why are the Morcons doing this? It's hard to explain. I don't get it. Only bad people would do something like that. Wouldn't they? The Morcons are led by their own religion. They believe in darkness and self-destruction. But that doesn't mean they can just kill people like that. No, of course not. It was a small group. I'm sure not all Morcons are like that. Hmm, you mean those weren't real Morcons? They were, but I think they attacked the World Heart because they were bad people, not because they were Morcons. You're right, Father. It's hard to explain. What are you up to? Mother says I have to wait here until she finishes her work. But she's taking so long. Can't we go somewhere else? It's probably for the best. You're not safe out here. Come with me. I'll get you out of here. Really? I don't have to wait anymore? I'll take you to the Bastion. Oh! I've always wanted to go there. 
Asker says there's ghosts. Really? That's what he tells you. We'll talk about this later. Okay. I love ghosts. Come on. We've got to go now. Where have you been all this time? I'm not sure I should tell you. Oh, come on. I'll understand. I was unconscious, so I couldn't come see you. Unconscious? Really? Like when all the lights go out and everything? That's right. Wow. Why were you unconscious? There were these, uh... Come on. We gotta keep moving. Why won't you tell me what happened to you? I don't want you to worry. Really? I'm the son of the biggest daredevil in the world, and you don't want to worry me? Yeah, well, the less you know, the less you have to worry about. Come on. mother about what happened to you. She'll tell me. Fine. I guess it's better if I tell you myself. Yeah? You see, we're under attack. Is it the Morcons? No. They're these aliens. And they've come to invade our lands. Oh, I know about them. Mother told me. But they're still far away. Not far enough. I had to fight some and they hurt me. Really? Yeah. They left me behind, but... Well, I, I haven't been myself for a few days. Cool. Oh yeah, real cool. see so many people joining the cause. Everyone says this whole thing would fall apart without you. You get by. Yeah, maybe. But it's sure gonna be easier with you. Anyway, welcome to the Bastion. That was fun. 
I wish we could spend more time together. Well, you know, I have to... Yeah, I know. You have lots to do. But still, it'd be really great if you came to visit sometime. Stick with Asker. He'll look after you while I'm gone. I'm gonna take a look around. Maybe I can find traces of the spirits Asker was talking about. Good to see you, Jax. Have you thought about what you want to do next? No. I'm still deciding what I'm going to do with you first, Dawkins. Ah. So you know. I don't want to talk about the past, but I just don't understand what you're doing. Why didn't you just tell me who you were from the start? I thought it might be confusing, and I knew you had some personal business to deal with first. But now that you're done, we can finally start our work. The Skyans have a considerable head start, so we don't have much time. Why the hell should I get mixed up in any of this? <laughs> you have no other choice, Jax. You won't be able to get rid of that alien infection without my help. And besides, how long is it since you had a good dose of Elix or mana? You don't have enough strength or magic to fight, and the infection is only making it worse. I'm the only one who can save you. I know more about this kind of disease than anyone else. So you're resorting to blackmail? I should just kill you right now. That wouldn't be very wise. Let me start by explaining exactly what's happening to you. The Skyanids that bit you are highly enhanced with a purple substance not unlike our blue elix. That's why I've taken to calling it Dark Elix. The whole thing is rather confusing, but... Both our blue elix and this new purple stuff have a few things in common. They both come from a different world. And they can both cause terrible mutations while also unleashing incredible powers. But this dark elix is more like a disease. It's highly infectious, and once it finds a suitable host, it replicates at a rapid rate. Skyans. Did you come up with the name? The alien invaders gave it to themselves. I was able to intercept some of their transmissions, which is how I know they're getting ready for the next phase of their invasion. You can understand them? It's not difficult. I've spent many lifetimes in the pursuit of scientific knowledge. And the language of science and mathematical algorithms is universal. The Skyans are no exception. How did you escape the hybrid's machine? When you defeated that pathetic hybrid form, the logical part of the machine was destroyed. And that's when Dr. Adam Charles Dawkins started coming back. Eventually, I managed to open the capsule I was stuck in. 
But it was a few weeks before I could move properly or use my muscles again. Can't say I'm quite my old self yet. But at least I'm free of the machine's destructive thoughts. And that's good enough for now. All right, if you know so much about these Sky Ants, tell me how to stop them. They've come with a huge number of warriors and creatures to take over our planet. Harness it for their own use. Why don't you tell me something I don't know? Their formers are already operational. They're using them to pump Dark Elix into the ground. That makes the areas around these formers extremely dangerous. I wouldn't recommend approaching them without the best equipment possible and a substantial military force. Get to the point. In the end, that's what it boils down to. Military force and equipment. We need strong allies who will support our cause. If we are to stand a chance against the overwhelming strength of the Sky Ants, the Sixth Power will have to become the greatest human military force in history. That's the best you can come up with? Brute force and military power? That's only the beginning. We have a lot of work ahead of us, Jax. First, the Bastion is going to need improvements if it's going to house a growing army. And we can't lose sight of the movements of enemy troops and their Skyanid creatures. If we see them making any significant advances anywhere, we'll have to intervene immediately. And of course, the first thing we need is a suitable faction we can form an alliance with. Why would any faction want to join forces with us? The only way we can stop the Skyans' advance is with an iron will and an army of fearless warriors. But all these factions have been fighting each other as long as they can remember, so the only solution is a new central power. One that has complete autonomy and independence. As soon as the others see that humanity stands a chance against the invaders, they'll join us. It's up to you to recruit them and train them, and find your old strength. You're the only one who can pull them out of their apathy and fear. You must prepare them for the coming war. They'll be fighting to stop the total extinction of humanity. Be their hero, be their leader, their last hope of salvation, Beast of Zakor. Don't call me that. It's ancient history. And it isn't true anymore. And yet, people still talk about your fight with the Hybrid. About what you did in the war against the Albs. You might be an outsider to them now. But they'll learn to trust you again. You're a fucking hypocrite, you know that? Like you had nothing to do with the Hybrid. I'm weak and I'm burnt out. And the machine that controlled me back then doesn't exist anymore. It's your willpower that saved us all from the hybrid. And you still have it, just as strong as it ever was. So go out there, convince them to fight with us against the Skyans, and do it before it's too late. Improvements for the Bastion? What kind of improvements exactly? Well, the first thing we need to do is clear the surrounding area of anything dangerous. We can't take the next step with those things hounding us all the time. Is that all? You're the expert in killing things. I'm sure you can handle it. When are you going to do something about my infection? I'm already working on it. The study of Dark Elix is at the top of my agenda. We still have time. I don't believe you're going to mutate into a Skyanid creature anytime soon. And you have a strong will. If Dark Elix works anything like the blue substance we know, you stand a good chance. Don't fuck with me. I don't want this thing to kill me just because you want to play war. Look, it's going to take time. I need peace and quiet to conduct my research. In the meantime, you need to prepare for the coming battles with the Sky Ants.
Time to check our progress. All right. What do we still need to do? Well, the Bastion still isn't fortified well enough. First of all, we need to eliminate the beasts in the surrounding areas. I'll have to start thinking about who I want as comrades in arms. And let's not forget, there's the small matter of my infection. That's for you to deal with. Good. Then we know it needs to be done. And remember, the sooner you join a faction... Yeah, I know. Things will be harder without the kind of training and equipment I can get from them. That's right. Okay. Let's say I start looking for an ally to join your sixth power. There are so many feuds. All the factions in Magalon are at each other's throats. But the only way we can hope to defeat the Skyans is by building an army stronger than theirs. So speak to the leaders of each faction. Find out who would make the best and strongest ally. Join them, poach their warriors, or, I don't know, capture their commanding officers. I don't care how you do it. Just do whatever it takes to make the Bastion as powerful as it can be. And get moving. The enemy is practically on our doorstep. You have a lot of explaining to do. You sent a signal into space when you were still the hybrid. And then this strange object appears in the sky. Just what the hell did you do? You have to understand, although I still remember much of my time as the hybrid, many of the machine's thoughts and memories were wiped out. But it appears the hybrid opened a wormhole near Magalan not long before its encounter with you. A what? A wormhole. A phenomenon capable of bridging time and space. And clearly our unwanted visitors used it to get here. Right. And I guess them attacking us now is just pure coincidence. I understand why you're angry. I would be skeptical too, but I'm afraid that's all I can tell you. I ask myself these questions every damn day, believe me. But those memories are gone. The hybrid machine is a thing of the past, and there's nothing I can do about it. We have to look forward, try to figure it all out before the Skyans overwhelm us. Just don't make me wait too long. The future of the world is at stake. <laughs>